Hi, and a very good day to everyone. Okay, tutorial I want to demonstrate about how to create multiple levels in Revit by using Dynamo. So, this is uh, my first tutorial on Dynamo topic. So, I hope you it helps you in your Revit and B management task. Okay, so first we go to new, then in the template file, we choose architecture template, then click OK. Or you can choose your desired template or your working project template. Okay, next we go to the elevations view. Any elevation view you can choose. Okay, and then you see the label here, we can just delete. We click OK. Okay, next we want to Look at the project template unit to make sure that you know the units that you are using. So this is important when we key in the code in Dynamo. So we can go to manage and you see project units or you can type UN on your keyboard shortcut. Then you can see your units as in my case I use the metric units template. So I know the length will be in millimeter. So I'm expecting a four digit in the code. If you in meter, maybe just need two digits. If you're in feet, maybe just one digit, right? So you must you must identify your units for the templates first. Okay, next so we can just okay. Go to still in the manage tab and you see try more here and click open. Okay, now it's open a new window. So we can just uh, click new. So it will open up the Dynamo blank canvas. Okay, so we need two nodes here. Okay, first we can type the code block. Or you can just double click your Dynamo canvas so it will appear the code block notes. The second one, you can right click and search by elevation. Or elevation. Elevation, okay. See by elevation, click here. Or you can find it in the Ravi. Revit here, Revit, click the arrow, drop down, go to elements, and find level. So you see the by elevation here. Okay. Next, we want to type in the code to set our levels in Revit. Okay, first number or digits that you enter, okay, is the, the start elevation value. Okay, for for example, for this project, we have zero elevation, so we want to start from zero. So we type zero, and then uh, double dot. Next, we want to type in our final elevation or the end elevation of the project height. So you need to know if the project elevation height n will be like. 21 meter or if, it, if it's a four story or something so you need to count for example i type in 51,000 or 51 meter if you were using the imperial or using the meter or if you're using the imperial maybe you must type in your digits according to your units value Maybe a hundred feet or something. So you can just and then you, this is the y value and then the third value will be the range between the start and also the end level of elevation. So you start from zero and fifty one thousand millimeter the end and then in between them you want to 
our level by level we want to create a step or the distance between level so for example i type in the 3000 for 3000 millimeter or you can if you use meter you can type 3 and make sure that these digits or these uh, three units here is the same meaning that you cannot mix between meter and millimeter so it it will the uh, dynamo will confuse and will bring coding to your wrong units so you, you must identify your units first from your template that's why i said at the first step we must identify our units for the template and then we can just type in the digits in the code block the three digits here in the code block according to our unit first is the start elevation so basically my elevation i have no we have deleted the levels so i can just type in zero so we want to start from zero then we 51 thousand this okay 51,000. so this is my last elevation value or last floor value or something or like just like the rooftop and then the, the third digit or the third value is the distance between level or distance between the zero and fifty one thousand the step so uh, meaning that if three thousand meaning that from level to level uh, or i want it to create level by using the three thousand mm interval okay so let's and then you can just click this arrow and tie up the dot to the elevation okay now you can type run or if it automatic it will automatically run for you if you manual you can just click the run here so it will appear just like that so just like that you just created a like twenty or floor something this is because we start from zero then to make sure okay so we see that this we start elevation start elevation zero so we type in zero and then our last elevation is 51,000 so 51,000 and then the 3000 is the interval or the step between the first and final elevation so we go to dimension you see that consists of 3000 of interval level by level height okay so that's all from me for this first tutorial on dynamo and hope you can learn something or peel something from this notes so you can customize according to your project needs uh, and and i hope that it's helpful and thanks for watching and subscribe subscribe more for more tutorial in the future thank you